1,100 garment workers died at the Rana Plaza collapse in Bangladesh on this day five years ago. This is one of the worst, most in, uh, worst industrial disasters. A survey by Action Aid Bangladesh reveals that five years down the line, nearly 50% of those who survived are still unemployed because of physical and psychological trauma as a result of that incident. We on Dhaka Bureau Chief Saad Hamadi reports from the site in Sabar. I'm standing at the site where thousands have lost their lives and many still live through the trauma they've endured five years ago. They've seen far too many deaths, many have lost their limbs. This day five years ago changed the lives of many workers at Rana Plaza and with them their families. An Action Aid Bangladesh study finds that 40 breadwinners have not been able to return to work because of physical or psychological trauma. This building collapsed in uh, 2013 when I lost my hand. I have become physically challenged for the last five years. I have been unemployed. I have lost a leg while working at Rana Plaza. I have suffered physically so much. I come here with a lot of pain. Over the last five years, garment factories across Bangladesh had rigorous compliance checks to avoid another tragedy of this kind. But laws to protect workers still remain weak. In uh, Bangladesh law, the factory law still works to that uh, pre uh, arrangement where if there is an accident, a worker will receive one lakh taka. These people need to continue to live. It's not like, okay, their life after the compensation came to an end. They're still living. They still need food. They still need water. They still need clothes. They need education for their children. They need treatment for themselves. And where will they get the money to pay for it? So this is where I think uh, we have not done enough. Five years on, the trial against the owner of the Rana Plaza complex, Sohel Rana, hangs at the High Court following appeals challenging the charges of homicide. Workers have paid with their lives for the garment industry that earns 80% of Bangladesh's export revenue. Rights activists say that law should be revised and made in a manner so that incidents like Rana Plaza and Tazreen Fashion's fire do not repeat. In Savar, Sadhamadi, we are.